prepared you for anything that could possibly happen tonight, and I don't know what will. Well, Glenn will in just a bit. And that's, uh, you gotta wait for that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show rolling. First of all, all together, give me a round of applause. Let's make sure for our big unit. We're here. You guys are tough. I'm sweating buckets. Your first comic tonight, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful lady, and uh, proud to say she's been a big part of the Kelowna comedy scene for the past five, six months. Please make her feel welcome. Marie Postikoff, ladies and gentlemen. because you'll be safe for the night. You can count on him. He's taking care of me for a while, so. How's everybody doing tonight? Is everybody over the loss? Yeah, bring the dogs. Okay, if you're not over the loss, have three more shooters each. You'll get over it. Because that's what the Canucks are probably doing. Anyway, so who here, who here is from Alberta? Do we have any Alberta? Oh, one of the plenty of fish is from Alberta. How are you, sweetie? Did you drive here? You live here now. How long ago did you move here? A few years ago. Um, do you drive? Did you learn in Alberta or did you learn here? Alberta. Oh, I'm sorry. Do people get mad at you when you drive? Yeah. You know what it is? I was following a lady and I, I found out what it really is. Is I was coming down Enterprise and some lady in a truck with special plates on. Not the L or the N or the veterans, but the red ones. You know them. Yeah, so she cut me off and she's in a truck. Now I have an issue with women in trucks, I think, honestly. When you test drive a truck, you've got to be able to park it or you shouldn't be able to buy it. If you can't park it, you can't buy it. Anyway, so she cuts me off. So I do the nice PC thing and just honk on my horn and scream at her and it doesn't do any good because she's got an iPod or something. And she didn't drives 20 kilometers an hour. Now, I don't know what you, but I don't think there's a road in Kelowna that's 20 kilometers an hour. I think the only reason that you should be able to drive 20 kilometers an hour is if you're blind, you have no right foot or no arms. Then you can drive 20 kilometers an hour. So anyway, I'm following her down Enterprise and she finally, while well, I'm actually yelling out my window, you know, kill the Albertan. And uh, she turns left because she hears me and she wants to get out of my way. So I pull up beside her and I think this is perfectly innocent. And I go, <laughs> right? Like I think this is an innocent thing to do. So she turns left and goes out of her way and I race through the light. And then all of a sudden in my rear view mirror I see those flashing red ones. <laughs> Not the ones that say, pull over, I'm in a hurry, but the ones that say, you've been a bad, bad girl. So I get pulled over and the cop looks at me and he goes, you know, you can't do that. And I said, what? He goes, you can't shoot yourself in the head. I said, but my finger wasn't loaded. And I'm still okay. So anyway, so he lets me off and he says, you can't do it anymore. Be nicer to people. So I pull out and... I go to turn right because there's a lane that you can turn right and then you merge. Now there was one of those special people driving with them, sort of green license plates. Those friendly Manitoba plates. They're not very good either. They're not so friendly either. But anyway, this gentleman seemed to think that merge meant stop. So by this point I did what every colonialite would do. I got on my horn and I started yelling, kill the Manitoban. And then I passed him. And I looked at him and I went, right? Because I can't shoot myself anymore. That would be wrong. And just as I cut him off, because that was my way of saying bye, uh, those flashing red lights were coming on again. And the cop pulls me over and he goes, you can't do that. And I said, I didn't use a loaded finger. And he said, no, you can't use a cell phone while driving. I said, but I wasn't using it to talk to anybody and he said that doesn't matter. I said, so I can't use a taser either. I, said, I was pretending I was having fun with the guy, friendly guy from Manitoba. And the cop said, no, you can't do that. And I said, well, can we do a redo? Because then I'm going to call somebody, preferably my lawyer, and if you're going to give me a fine. So I got a ticket for $138. 
But you know what? I'm going to appeal it because I never used the phone. I think I should. I think we got to stick up. We got to, uh, you know, we can't have guns anymore. So we got to have something to do. I think that cops, when they pull people over now, instead of giving them the ticket, they should give you the option taser or ticket. As long as you don't have any publishing, you go for the taser. That's my philosophy. But anyway, you guys have been really sweet. And girls, girls, you're very cute. And I think every guy here is that all of a sudden got really quiet when I started talking to you. But uh, you guys, when you go on the beach, just a piece of advice about men in Kelowna. Because you already know, but see, I'm old, so I've been through them all, right? So I've been there, done that. When you go downtown Kelowna, don't take off your clothes on the beach. What? Not all of them. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because the cops will come and they'll arrest them, Rob. They arrest them and they'll throw them in jail. But see, when you're my age, ladies, that's when you start having fun, because I can go downtown, take off my clothes, and you know what they do? They come give me a blanket and a ride home. <laughs> So I think that's way nicer of them. You guys are sweet. Are you guys on a date? No. Are you married? Sure. You're married. You're not dating, but you're married. Oh. Yeah. No, well, you know who you're going home with anyway. That's my husband. That's the only reason that he lets me do the stand-up is because he knows he comes here and drinks and I drive him home. <laughs> See, how long have you guys been married? Two years. You still like each other? Have you seen her mother? We try not to. Where's where are you from? Yeah, that'll get a hit. From PEI. Wow, that's a long way away. And you live here now? Does her family still live in PEI? No, her family's from here. So you move closer to her family. I'm sorry. PEI's looking good now, isn't it? Well, thank you guys very much for putting up with me, and thank you guys, uh, Rob, for letting me come up. And have a good night. Before you pause the cough, ladies and gentlemen.